Welcome to a chaotic creative mind. I just remembered that I completely forgot to mention uh, the Annabelle costume that I made for Halloween. I did show the final result uh, on Instagram, on my account there. I never finished editing the video and showing you what it ended up looking like. I never rounded that off. I should actually get that done. Ah, oh. there's so many loose ends from last year. And also, I should really, really get that dress from World War II sewing challenge. Ironed. What is this? More yarn. Yes, of course, it's more yarn. But I have plans for it. I would like to uh, do spank a bag using that technique, spank. And I actually, <laughs> the handles, you see, I found this clothes rack at my dad's and asked if I could have it. So I just have this and I have, you know, both sides. I'm going to make the handles from that. So I have this little model here and I've been trying with the uh, holes in it. So I'm going to make a spunk uh, bag if I can. That would be exciting. You see, I already have so many plans. Oh, yes, I did my own pin loom. It's because I watched Julian Eve. She does a lot of fiber craft. I watched Julian Eve mention one of these in the live chat she did with Shannon from Shannon Makes in September when it was time for Kate Temba, the cape, oh, the cape. Because I've been watching a lot of the videos that Julian Eve has, is she called Jillian Eve? I bet it's Jillian Eve. I'm very sorry for mispronouncing your name, Jillian Eve. Because I've watched a lot of her videos, I'm actually trying to make my own spindle and that's what I have been sanding down, this little wooden disc. I guess it was just to drill a hole in some wood and then this disc was between a lot of scrap wood. I got it from my brothers when he was building a new shed and this disc was among it and I thought Maybe I could use this as the thing on my spindle. I have a lot of new terms to learn. And I guess I don't need more crafts. But the pin loom I made, because I have already planned my next project for Cape Timber. Yes, I'm going to make a patchwork shawl. A shawl is a bit smaller. And I am going to use whatever yarn I have that uh, I don't want to sell or don't want to give it away, but I'm not going to knit with it or crochet with it. But I'm going to try and weave small patches on this pin loom and then sew them all together or crochet them all together it might be easier and definitely i think a shawl could be possible but here we are in february and i'm already getting the uh, gadgets 
ready for that and i have found some yarn i've been to another second hand store of course i have um i found a very small ball of yarn and then i was like i'm going to buy that i only paid one danish corner for this small ball of yarn so i thought i'm gonna buy that I'm going to see if it's enough to make a patch or two on this pin loom. You know, I'm just going to find these small odds uh, of various yarns to use. And I'm thinking also it could be a great scrap project. But, you know, I want to keep it sort of in the same uh, tone, scheme, whatever it's called to not make it too all over the place even though maybe that would not be such a bad idea well you will probably see me making patches during the next couple months so that in September I'm ready just to sew it together i wonder how many i should use for a shawl i have a shawl i have this shawl that i crocheted i should only have crocheted in the back loops and i crocheted in both loops it's very firm it cannot stretch very well this is made in wool yarn from mayflower and it does the job it keeps me warm but i think it has a fairly good size it's a bit wrinkled here it's been folded up it's you know it's two triangles that were crocheted and then they were sewn together or crocheted together or whatever i did i could use this to measure my uh pin loom and then try to find out that way how many swatches i need to make now i just folded this shawl in half so i'm just going to check out how many squares i need and then double it Oh, but you have to add this. Det I took the lampshade skeleton off the lamp that I bought in February. I need to put new fabric on this. I did try. <laughs> I bought that oven uh, protection thing, but forget it. I can't use that. 
I found another lampshade, which had fabric on it. I have already taken the fabric off. I do not have a picture of it before I dismantle the cover from this, but it is very, very lovely shape, I think. It had this little cover at the top with this trim on it. And then at the bottom, of course, it had this trim. It was this on the outside of the lamp. I need to wash this before I put it on this. On the inside, it has this webbing material. So I think I am going to put that as well on the lampshade and then the other fabric. But I just need to put it in some soap water and just hopefully let it do its thing and then it has to dry and then I can get the lamp, the lampshade finished and put the lamp up on the wall. That's a side project. Among all of the other projects that I am switching from one to another, but that's what it's like to have such a creative, rather chaotic mind. But I like it. I remember the one more thing I was planning to make for the World War II sewing challenge. It's because that there was this movie called The Dig about the mask they found. One of the uh, characters in the movie, The Dig, was wearing these orange uh, overall. And I just totally fell in love with them. I watched a video, so Bias did a video about the costumes in the movie and I totally fell in love with these orange overalls so I decided I have to make them. I have been doing some mock-ups. You, If you have seen my video, my first video on Annabelle, there's going to be a second one because loose ends. But if you have seen my Annabelle, you will have seen at least one mock-up pair of trousers that I did and that was actually because I started mocking up these orange overalls I want to make so that's another thing and now I have told you I have put it out in the void if I forget about it you're very welcome to remind me of that Thank you for watching this video. As you may have noticed, I have been using blocking style in this video instead of just focusing on one specific project. I do not know how this format works. I don't know if it will work and I do not know if I will continue showing various crafts talking about different projects in one video maybe that will be a way for me to be able to upload videos more often because it's not so concentrated on just one project i need to switch between projects if the one i'm working on needs a time out when it comes to videos that uses vlogging style, how do you feel about it? Do you prefer a vlogging video or would you rather watch a video that is about one specific thing? I'd like to know. So if you will comment in the comment section down below, I would be ever so grateful. 
Take care of yourself and I will see you in my next video. Happy chaotic crafting. Maybe I have enough videos for definitely the next six months or something like that. As you may have noticed, I have been using vlogging style instead of just... It's not a shed. It's um, a f fairly big... Um, we can have uh, video notes out here or dance around the Christmas tree room shed. Thing. As you may have noticed, I have tried to make it a bit more vlog style. Vlog, vlog, vlog. I bought this lamp in February and it needs 